Health in the United States is facing a, a, a real crisis. That is, uh, the length of life, how many years we live, is declining. And uh, it has reached the level now where it was in uh, 1996. For a long time, the U.S. has attributed its poor health outcomes to the terrible conditions and health outcomes, particularly of African Americans, but all in general people of color, Latinos, indigenous people. Uh, but now we're seeing this affecting everyone. The United States spends more on health care than any other country in the world, uh, both in aggregate and per capita. And still we have these terrible health outcomes. Uh, one lesson from this is that health is about more than health care, that spending on health care doesn't solve our problems. We do need to improve access to health care. Our health care delivery system is profit driven. Uh, it is not something that is rewards uh, the achievement of health. Uh, it's something that rewards the accrual of profits. And it's time for us to start talking about this. Do you want health or health care? And what we're saying in this country is actually, since we don't have universal health care, we have neither. What to do about people who can't afford or aren't eligible for health care insurance? And that's when it's time to start talking about why we don't follow the lead of every other wealthy country and guarantee access to health care services. We found more than 50 countries that have outperformed the United States on life expectancy. 17 of them have done so for more than 50 years. We need to study some of the policies that have enabled those countries to produce better health outcomes for their population. They include things like social welfare programs, better regulations on products and services that are dangerous to health, uh, better access to health care. Uh, we need to follow their lessons, Americanize those policies, and see if we can achieve something closer to the outcomes they've achieved for so many years. The important thing is to look to our society as a whole, uh, to think about how well we're doing at protecting a decent everyday life. How well are we doing with wages? How well are we doing with access to affordable, decent housing? So those are all things that affect our health and they're affecting health outcomes. Most Americans are not aware of being dead first. And so what we need is something like what happened in 1957. We set a goal to land a human on the moon by the end of the next decade. We could set a goal to become a, one of the healthiest countries in the world, but it would only come once, once we all became aware that our health was at such a low standard.